Welcome to the Plan B CRNA podcast. I'm your host, Bobby Jones, and I'm so excited that you're here. The Plan B CRNA podcast is the only show made specifically for nurse anesthetists who are exploring options outside of their traditional career paths. This is the place to expand your mind and your goals as we uncover new ways to produce side income together. The mindset that we bring to any situation plays a key part in overcoming challenges and really enjoying our unique paths in life. On Thoughtful Thursdays, I like to explore emotional topics that are relevant to CRNAs and other providers. I think of this as my therapy, and I hope you learn some tips and tricks that you can use along your own journey. This episode is brought to you by On Call Capital. On Call Capital is dedicated to educating CRNAs and other healthcare providers about investing outside of the traditional stock market. On-Call Capital also provides opportunities for you, yes you, to create passive income and generational wealth while also lowering your taxable income through investments in the apartment and alternative investment spaces. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, make sure you do that right now so that you don't miss an episode. Thanks so much for joining me today, and now on with the show. Welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays on the Plan B CRNA podcast. I'm your host, Bobby Jones. And as always, I like to start these podcasts off with a quote that gets me thinking. Henry Ford once said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young. As CRNAs, we know that continuing education just goes along with the territory. With the new CPC modules, this process is practically built into accreditation. But don't worry, this isn't a discussion about CPC modules or any MBCRNA debates. Let's save that one for the business meetings. Instead, I'd like to talk about continuous learning. A popular saying in the anesthesia community is that you will never have as much knowledge as you do on the day you take your boards, but you will gain much more wisdom in its place. And I found this to be true. I felt more comfortable walking into a situation just a couple of years into my career because experience had been my teacher. When we finish anesthesia school, our brains don't stop evolving, just like they don't when we were done with our BSN programs. Our thirst for knowledge doesn't just go away, even as our time spent on study lessens to a great extent. We get into the grind of working every day for sure, but we are still piqued by a unique case or a challenging patient. But learning doesn't just apply to our profession, and in fact, I'd argue that you will become older much more quickly if you only stick to anesthesia. We need to be challenged outside of our profession to really live. Most of the CRNAs I know and admire live vibrant lives outside of the workplace, They are yoga instructors, guitar players, world travelers, ultra marathoners, inventors, gardeners, and builders. They're hikers and hunters, advocates and educators. The great news is that as much as some might roll their eyes at certain types of professional continuing education, yes, it is expensive and increasingly not covered by the workplace, feeding a curious mind in a variety of forms can lead to wonderful health benefits. The first benefit isn't all that surprising. Your brain actually stays healthy. We all know that our short-term memory and learning capacity shrinks as we age, and our problem-solving skills can start to diminish. But according to a UC Irvine study, continuing education keeps our brain cells working at optimum levels, helping our memory, concentration, and mood along the way. The second benefit is a reduction of the physical and emotional symptoms of stress. A University of Sussex study showed that reading a newspaper or book for as little as six minutes can reduce stress levels by more than two-thirds. Psychologists say this is because the human mind has to concentrate on reading and that the distraction eases the tension in muscles in the heart. Your imagination becomes actively engaged, and the words on the printed page stimulate your creativity, forcing you to enter into somewhat of an altered state of consciousness. I think that's pretty cool. The third benefit is one that speaks to a need for variety in your educational life. If you want to improve your social life, go learn something new. This opens up new social opportunities by interacting with people we might not otherwise have encountered. Experimenting with new ideas encourages us to interact more with our friends, family, colleagues, and even with strangers while encouraging us to take risks, adjust, and adapt as we go. Social engagement helps us feel healthier and happier since humans are social creatures at our core. Yes, even you introverts out there. Finally, lifelong learning enhances our motivation, creativity, and innovation. When we introduce new skills and information into our daily lives, we give ourselves a chance to open our minds and appreciate new opportunities. Continual education fuels our creativity and innovative drive. 
It also feeds our curiosity and allows us to explore things we are passionate about. In addition, it fills us with a renewed sense of purpose and spurs us toward problem-solving action. This is the kind of stuff that just leaves me pumped up. I want to get out there and learn how to do pottery and play the piano or learn judo. We certainly aren't meant to just wake up, go to work, come home, and do it all over again the next day. We are meant for so much more, and you can design a lifestyle that gives you the time to pursue the things that are meaningful to you. That's going to do it for today's episode. For more information, make sure you check out our show notes. I've put a couple of articles in there that you may find useful. As always, I'd like to thank you for listening to the Plan BCRNA podcast. If you found value today, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss an episode. We also want to hear from you. If you have a question, comment, or topic that you'd like me to cover in an upcoming podcast, make sure you rate and review on your podcast player. I check those all the time and cover those topics in future episodes. I hope you'll join us next time. This is Bobby Jones signing off. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Plan B CRNA podcast. If you haven't already subscribed and reviewed the show, I'd be honored if you took the extra time. It really helps to expand our reach and get the word out about the show. If you're a CRNA who is interested in sharing your story on our podcast, I'd love to have you. Please email me at bobby at oncallinvestments.com for more information. This episode was brought to you by On Call Capital. They are dedicated to helping providers like you develop passive income and generational wealth through investments in the apartment and alternative investment spaces. Feel free to check out their website at www.oncallinvestments.com and subscribe to their free educational email series. You can find On Call Capital on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also check out our YouTube page where you'll find all of the show episodes along with other educational videos. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode.